to Android Weekly, the show where we give you the rundown on all the Android news that matters to you, or at least to me. I'm Andrew Moore Crispin, and this is episode one. On today's show, Android activations hitting a brand new high, Minecraft coming to a handset near you, and gingerbread and Facebook. It's complicated. But first, check out Hover.com, one of the sponsors who help keep our cameras rolling. I've used a number of domain registrars since I've been online, but never have I found one that's easier to use than Hover.com. Check it out. Use the coupon code for 10% off, or don't, and pay full price if you're flush like that. Let's start off with an Android win. Recently, the Android Developers YouTube channel published a visual representation of Android activations around the world. Each activation is represented geographically as a point of light. The visualizations run from October 2008, Android Launch Day, forever known as D-Day in Apple camps, and runs through January 2011. Things start out slowly, but get interesting as the Motorola Droid launch is counted down and again when the Samsung Galaxy S hits. It wasn't long ago that research firm Nielsen released its year-end data for 2010. This data, presented in a much less visually striking but altogether easier to read line graph, showed the big three, Android, iPhone, and Blackberry, at near parity. Android's meteoric rise to 27% share of new smartphone activations, RIM's unpleasant plummet to the same 27% market share, and Apple with its singular iPhone holding steady at 28%. Games on Android have been, let's face it, somewhat lacking. In among the 140,000 apps in the market, games make up a very small portion. Narrow it down to good games and the pickings get slimmer still. Minecraft, the geek game phenom, is coming to Android. We'd say that if you haven't heard of it, you've been living under a rock, but if you're as enthralled by this game as I am, you've been living under about a mile of rock and the, the cliché just kind of falls apart. Minecraft is a game with no purpose per se. Tunnel deep into the earth to find rare and valuable ore, craft tools and gear and build a homestead. When you've got all the golden diamonds you can carry, fall into a lava pit, lose it all and start again. Or is that just me? The only release data we have for an official Android version of Minecraft is later this year and we'll be watching. Oh, and by the way, it's coming to iOS too, but who cares? It seems that with the release of Gingerbread, Facebook and Android are no longer BFFs. It's complicated. Android is open. That's part of the reason we love it. Apparently, Facebook didn't want to be in an open relationship. Facebook was given a special exemption and was allowed to sync contact info into the Android address book. However, when users switch computers or devices, Android contacts would come along for the ride seamlessly, while Facebook contacts wouldn't. This is because Facebook was allowed to one-way sync. Now, unless Facebook uses the publicly available API to two-way sync contacts, they and some users are SOL. It's a case of Android with its impressive market share fighting a battle for openness with Facebook, a social media site not exactly well known for having a pro-user privacy stance. We'll see what happens with this one. As it stands, new devices running Android 2.3 will have the Facebook contact polling feature disabled. For our review of the week, we throw it over to Kate Abraham. This week, she's taking a look at an Android app that'll help keep you out of OPEC's pocket, Gas Buddy. Being a driver, I am increasingly aware of the rising cost of gas. Luckily, I can now monitor where the cheapest gas stations are with the Android app, Gas Buddy. This very handy free app allows you to find the cheapest gas in your area by city or zip code. The findings are divided into gas type, be it regular, mid-grade, premium or diesel. You can also sort your results by distance or price by clicking on the icon on the bottom of the screen. All you then need to do is scroll down the list to see where you need to fill up. Another great feature of this app is the map view, which drops pins into a Google map to show you the stations and gas prices within the nearest proximity to you. And if you come across a cheaper price, be sure to log into your Gas Buddy account and update the site. Just click on the price and then fill in the details to submit a new price. Well, that's all the news that's fit to Google. For full show notes, check out butterscotch.com. Until next week, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin.